Welcome back everybody to another episode of Outer Worlds. Last we left off, we are now investigating Black Hole Birdie. We found a Rizzo's Ranger that we were supposed to meet. When we got there, unfortunately he was dead. Um, we traced it all the way down to this guy. So we're going to talk to him. But we also did a special mission for Dash Whitlock as well. We took some special contraband and sold it. We also got the Spectrum Gatling Gun. We managed to get all eight Spectrum um, drinks. And now this thing is a beast. Uh, but let us talk to Black Hole Birdie. Or about him. What? Oh, this is him. Need to ask you a few questions, Mr. Holcomb. Not so loud. How'd you know it was me? I'm an inspector and a damn good one. Do you have any idea how many child ball posters your face is on? I'm an inspector and a damn good yeah, one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. <laughs> I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know. Incompleto? Incognito, you mean? Oh, yeah, I guess it's kinda neato. Oh, my oh, lord. What's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Yeah. Maybe I can help. I was hired to solve Helen's murder. I don't need you, I don't need you to be clever, just honest. That I can do. What do you want to know? So, uh, how do I help? What were you doing in the night ho I was Helen died? I was with the rest of the rangers. What? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved? I think he means drunk. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. Ah. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Hmm. Where'd you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. You stole her. What is wrong with you? No, we were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. How that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory is a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house back that mm, up? I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? For safekeeping? She'd ask me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Huh. Why do you think she couldn't get it herself? You're telling me Helen dumped you, then asked you for she a favor? She sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Alright, so the data pad, did you find it? I get it. You thought you were doing a favor, smooth things over. Did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Ah. You sure this guard couldn't ID you? Cyberly. Not a smart move to find corporate guards. What did you do? Long story short, I got out of there. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. 
Well, I know you weren't sprinting from the Sunday zone, so where'd you go? Did anyone else see you that night? Think hard. Anyone? Anywhere else? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. You just said yeah. Brady, come on, man. Who was it? I would have... I would have to be dead to not realize it's... That's a lie. Right, I'm gonna need your name. Having a witness only benefits you unless you have something to hide. Brady, come on, man. Who was it? I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Not having a witness puts you in much bigger trouble. What do you think, part body? Up for a little good inspector, bad inspector? If you don't want to talk to good inspector, maybe bad inspector will change your mind. Ellie? You can't even imagine the, the trouble you'll be in with me if you don't spill. God, jeez. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. Mm. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. Your bookie, murderous confidant, secret paramour with whom you've... <laughs> with, with whom you're having a toilet affair. No, that was... Uh, glad we could come to understanding before you go here. Your bookie, murderous confidant. Who is confidant it? Confidant is like... Confidence. What's Torrid mean? <laughs> I knew the last one was a stretch. You've taken a lot of blows to the head playing toss ball, huh? Who's Oric, Birdie? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oric's not a bad guy. He's just got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. How did you get the data pad? Uh, isn't that a beer you're drinking? Oh, I mean the hard stuff. Beer doesn't count. Anyway, uh, you ought to take Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Either she was writing in code, or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. There's still a gap in your timeline, Birdie. I'm not sure Blackout will cut I know, it. I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. It's better if you're not involved. I can't let a suspect be part of the investigation. Start, threaten start threatening witnesses and I'll throw you in jail myself. I can't let a suspect be part of the investigation. I I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? I have a few more questions. About Helen. What about her? What was your racial Look, relationship you like? You and me, we both know I'm a big, dumb tossball star, right? That's what I'm good at. Lizzo's knows it. The fans know it. Helen, she saw me as more than that. She saw someone who had more to offer than big muscles and a signature black hole stomp. Being with Helen was magic. She was magic. There ain't good enough words for something as special as what we had together. Why did you break I up? I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Maybe one of the higher-ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us? I don't know. I tried to understand, hmm. but I don't. Did she have any enemies? Rival actresses, maybe? I don't know too much about the motion picture industry. Except for Helen's pictures, obviously. Those I probably know by heart. I've seen them about a hundred times each. Alright, let you... me ask you something else. About Oric. Yeah? What's his deal? Oric's a businessman. He sells stuff you can't get elsewhere. You know, alternative stuff. We're talking sort of science, crockery, whole supplements. I see. And why would someone buy a whole set? Maybe of putting products? effort accelerators in your body isn't always the right call, you know? Maybe there are other options. 
Maybe I don't take all the accelerators Rizzo's pushes on me. Hmm. Maybe I should get that last one so you don't get in trouble with Rizzo's. I get it. You want to keep your fringe medical opinions on the down low. People get worked up about this kind of thing is all. Not that my personal business should be any concern of theirs. Yeah. Where can I find him? Orakang's around the spaceport most days. Since he's not here at the bar, he's most likely over by the Baya bunks at the shipping yard. Why'd you have the mascot pull that little stunt over recording? I remember him? sending her the recording, but law, I was halfway to preserve by then. I don't know what was on it. When I realized what I'd done, I panicked. If I'd said something dumb, folks might think I was involved in her death. I was scared of looking suspicious. I found the recording. There's nothing incriminating on it. So you had a man break into Helen's old room to cover it up. I wish that were the dumbest thing I ever did, but it's not. Let's see. Concealing evidence is a like crime. Like I said, I panicked. What's it like being in a favorite Toss Tossball ball? was, is, and always will be the greatest game in the universe. And I would give it up in a heartbeat to have Helen back. That's enough for now. Very well, we have to... We'll see what he was up to. What's in here? Nothing in here. Right over here. Rent unit, waiver. Hey, pal. Over here. Hey there. Ooh. You're looking to unwind, friend? Is he like the Joker? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time. Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno. Something with a little more kick. What are you selling? The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, Holistic pharmaceuticals, mm. natural substances and the like, you know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture... Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Mm. Really? Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. What kind of alternatives what do you sell? What do I sell? sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. Calcium, vitamin D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. You got stress problems? I got stress solutions. Aromatherapy eases the mind. Diluted mantisaur essence, best kept secret in the business. <laughs> it's probably just ground up fast ration pills. Or it's the real thing, which is an incredibly dangerous hallucinogen that tastes disgusting. Huh. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they contain the rage of a certain well known toss ball star, they can help anybody. I'd like to ask you some questions about Birdie Holcomb. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I'm not a sheriff. I'm a freelance inspector brought in to investigate the death of Helsa and Helen. I don't think I have jurisdiction here. What makes you think I'm a sheriff? I'm just a man looking for answers. If I'd planned to arrest you, you'd be in jail Can by I now. Can't argue with that logic. Yeah, I know, Birdie. What do you want to know? Heard you taught Birdie some breathing yeah, techniques. Yeah, that was me. Brody's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. He's got a temper, okay. How he you may know? or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. What for? He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing toss ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. What do you mean toss ball does things to head? Come you on. Concussions? Birdie's a damn good hacker. But taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble yeah. anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. 
I worry about him. That's all. Hmm. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. It isn't blacking out. Was Birdie with you the night that Halcyon yeah. Helen was killed? Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him mm. to drink more water and get some sleep. That's all for now. Huh. Who does it? Everybody has another pilot house for some amount of time. But there's a period where Brady is unable to look out for his whereabouts. You should report to administer at the penthouse terminal and decide what to tell him. Regarding Birdie, Birdie attempted descending the risk ranger. Shit. I still have no idea who it is. Oh my, I gotta go through my stupid thing too. I'm gonna go back to my other shit so I remember. It's alright. Hope you've been enjoying your stay. Ah. Uh, yeah, not too bad. So Spencer really seems like the most, because he asked for a plasma gun as well. Oh, who are you? Finally checked in, I see. Let's see. I hope you're fond of the penthouse. It's pretty much the best seat in the whole hotel. You shouldn't want for any amenity you might find elsewhere. Should act as a better headquarters for the investigation than any space dust covered ship. That and you ain't got room service on a ship. I'm thinking you never it's need anything, come find me. Spencer. Even if you don't, but you can still swing by. I'm always happy to chat. It could be Ludovico. Did you know the victim? Oh, of course. That is uh maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans. Even started an association of like minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terra on Monarch reunion episode. There are other celebrities, right? Sorry, friend, but I guess you don't get it. Helen was special, had a certain quality about her, like she would really go out and fight injustice. You look at Woolrich and no disrespect to the man, but you just don't get the same feeling. He reminds me more of a vacuum suit without nobody in it. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Now, what can I lend a hand with? I'm curious about you. How'd you get to be Bellhop? Notice my battle-hardened physique, have you? Used to be in a mighty mean line of work. Been shot at 35 times. That is, um... I've been near people who were shot at 35 times. But, to be honest, I never really enjoyed it, you know? It's one thing to tightrope walk between life and death every day, but for just a handful of bits? Nah. When this position came up, I jumped on it and made a lateral move from sublight to slug. I ain't ever looked back. I thought slug and sublight hate each other. Or didn't engage much. How much? What? Jesus. I thought slug and sublight didn't engage much. How'd you move from one to the other? Hmm, well, slug is something like an offshoot of sublight. Oh, okay. It ain't too difficult to pivot from one part of the same company to another. Disconnects or no? That said, my departure may have been somewhat hasty. What happened? You made it sound like it's choice earlier. What happened? Well, you could call it a small lapse in judgment. Basically, hmm. I singled out a ship to salvage that I thought had been out for use for years. As it turns out, it belonged to a wealthy Byzantine who used it Ooh. only to vacation. As it so happened, I still don't think she tried to use it, <laughs> too satisfied with the luxuries of Byzantium. Still, I figured it was a good time to turn tail, in case that ever changed. Hmm. Any good stories? 
Sure, you've seen a lot of people coming and going. Huh. Actually, I think I got a couple now that you mention it. Execs from opposed corps used to visit the hotel simultaneously. After assassination number 40, we enacted a rule. No exec visitation without signing a non-aggression contract. How different is working with Slug? Well, Slug is more trustworthy for one thing, where Sublight yeah. is all about back alleys and backstabbing. Ah. Slug can be trusted not to salvage your ship when you turn your head. Back to my other questions. Mind if I ask you a few questions Please about the crime do. scene? You want to give me more details on how you came across sure, the Sure, I'd taken a check in the bar room every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just a... Make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. <laughs> finally see smells. Did you kill Helen? You can tell me if you did, it'll be our secret. What? <laughs> no! Just because I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. I was in shift all day. Besides, I loved Helen cereals. Well, the old ones anyway. The newer episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Hmm. Any idea why Helen would have been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? Back to my other questions. Did you see Helen on the day of her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. When it was oh, living. Wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Yeah. Um. Uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. I think we both know you're itching to gossip. You can tell me, haven't you heard of Inspector Inspecting Confidentiality? I think we know you're itching to go. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the britches to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises with the profit of profitability. Mm -hmm. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially yeah. strange, seeing how, as far as I was aware, the two didn't get on. What's the deal with profit of profitability? Uh, yep. Gives seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't say much else, seeing how I ain't in the gossip market. Why didn't Helen and Profit get along? As far as I can recall, Helen dismissed the ladies' seminars in some kind of interview. Yeah. Said her co-star used them, but she didn't. The top rungers are always ready to read between the lines of famous folks and seem to think the Profit yeah. was on her way out. Woman lost a ton of bits and is set to lose more. Back to my other questions. Got any idea who might have wanted Helen? Everyone's got wanted theories. to do Helen. I in. don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. Goodbye. Hmm. I don't know what else would be. Hmm. So there's a bee there. In the Mariam, she was dancing with those. Oh, lordy. What floor would you... Next up. Contact with Vico. Inspector. Match track down Black Hole Birdie. I'm pleased to hear that. Birdie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Birdie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Unfortunate and suspicious. This isn't a good look for Birdie. That's ominous. Ah, Birdie Holcomb. How have you gone and complicated my life this time? The only who, the only person who can corroborate his whereabouts is his dealer. Brady was incredibly drunk on the night of murder. His story isn't reliable. 
How about the fact that he's a grade A whole head with violent tendencies? The only person who can corroborate his whereabouts. I wasn't aware Birdie was involved in contraband. What kind of dealer are we talking about? Birdie he doesn't take company effort accelerators. He's been getting illegal supplements from a dealer. Cards, Lou. I meant cards. Birdie enjoys the occasional gamble. I can tell you that. Investigating Helen's murder, not contraband goods. Lie. And this gambling partner is Birdie's confidant? I can understand why this is a problem. It's in this dealer's best interest to protect Bertie. Even yeah. if Bertie isn't responsible for Helen's murder, his conduct is vexing to me. He may require a lesson in consequences. Be plain yeah. with me, Inspector. <sighs> okay. He said, so he sent somebody to get the thing. He, oh, damn, this is so, I have to remember stuff as well as trying to think. Uh, um, okay, it's possible, still investigating my leads. Okay, so he's, he has violent tendencies. He was using techniques to help him. He was drunk and blacked out. He woke up with the data pad. Oh, wow. I didn't read it. I'd like you to continue your invest. Uh, Birdie needs to be locked out just to keep him out of trouble. By the way, Birdie agreed to stay at the Grand I Gordial. appreciate that. I'd rather keep Birdie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into... No. I completely forgot about this stupid... thing. Quest items. Helen's data pad. The contents of this, of this data pad are incomprehensible. Incomprehensible to you. It seems to be written in code. Several pages of unrelated words, sentence, and seemingly random numbers concealing its true movement. How the hell am I supposed to look at it then? To investigate? Uh. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. What do you got here? The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. The weapon was recently removed. So somebody just took it. So it could have been... It could have been Black Hole Birdie. No. <sighs> Sleep. Sleep for a couple hours. I don't know if that gives me bonus experience or not, but okay. Hack. Oh, here we go. The Krypton error. Massive corrupted. Massive corrupted. Knows the truth. Please hurry. Don't know how much longer I can keep. Shit. Um. Uh, let's go, let's go take a look around, again, see if we have any extra leads, can't lockpick, okay, from a witch, yeah, yeah, you hold my fate in your hands, Inspector. What the hell is this? Initiating center protocol. 
now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage 3001 is trained to recognize all board oh, approved. I think we heard this name before. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start me like it's... I see you've had some work done. Who upgraded Burbage you? Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer oh. Woolrich Banter Protocol Exhausted Reverting to Default oh, Behavior oh. Grieving and Despair Oh, hmm. Alcyon Helen May your atoms be commended to the Aether you knew how Helen? Three thousand one was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous role, Burbage three thousand one. Anything else? Any in there? Does that include this dying? This unit has been programmed to simulate existential dread. Watch, Watch Burbage Contemplate its mortality. This for unit results. has not yet completed its great. But this. Hmm. So Spencer. Woolwitz. Up a cool and take this blood everywhere. Human. What is that? The hell is that? Wait, B. Wait, hold on, B. Burbage. Hmm. So there's B, there's Bear Bitch. Black Hole Birdie. He has something to do with the food too, does he not? So he could have poisoned. Spencer's looking a little bit. A little bit guilty every single time, huh? What else do we have? Is there other doors that are open? Who are you? Zeke Hannigan. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? I had some questions about Halcyon Helen's murder. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's That's a damn me. shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Birdie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything hmm. serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. Well, yeah, it's vandalism. Was Birdie in jail with the rest of no, you? we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. Hmm. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Tell me about Birdie and Helen. Oh, Birdie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Birdie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Birdie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Do you think Birdie could have killed what? Helen? Law, no. Birdie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Hmm. Can you think of anyone who would want to kill Helen? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for yeah. Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Yeah. What can I do? How long have you been with About the Rangers? Half my life. You know I was named third most profitable investment on two non-consecutive seasons? 
Ain't a lot of players who can make that claim. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers. But now I'm all convalesced. Ready to lay into some Cleo darlings, you know? Really break some legs. What brings the Rangers to the Aerodanos? Since the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown. Meet the fans, sign toss ball cards, that sort of thing. Just between you and mm. me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. That's all for now. I mean... Huh. <laughs> so they were locked up. But he was not. are into some weird shit. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Multiple discrepancies detected. First yeah. discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. <laughs> Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Hmm. Some wearing discoloration in the observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Was Black Hole Birdie here? Insufficient data. A Bam. brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. So Black Hole Birdie was not in jail. He was not with them when they got the cow. Uh... Shit. This is hard. Like, it keeps... There's just evidence going to everybody. Black Hole Birdie. Hotel rooms don't feel like home until you mess them up some. This one's real co I have a few more what? questions for you. Ah, damn. Hmm. What do you think you're... I was just leaving. I don't got time for this. Hmm. Rizzo's reputation decreased. There's got to be some type of... Huh, it's like those little mints they leave on pillows. That was quick. Yeah, that is pretty quick. Uh... We don't toss troublemakers out of air. Birdie's a good fella. Lobby. All right, everybody, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to try and find some extra evidence. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.